Hi all, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm excited to share the five top outdoor things to do near the town of Florence, Oregon on the central Oregon coast. I'll give a quick overview first and then dive into each recommendation in more depth. So number one is watching an ocean sunset from Cape Perpetua Lookout. That's where you'll find this awesome ocean panoramic view. If you're enjoying this video, remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more adventures in the Pacific Northwest. The second recommendation is the sea lion caves, a natural cave system where hundreds of sea lions overwinter. This is one of the easiest and most spectacular wildlife watching opportunities I've encountered. Number three is the Dean Creek Elk Viewing Area, another wildlife watching opportunity, this time for our Pacific Northwest native elk, the Roosevelt Elk. For number four, we'll explore a top old growth forest hike that's often enhanced by this mystical ocean mist. And rounding out the top five are Thor's Well and the Spouting Horn, two coastal rock formations that form weird and wonderful natural fountains. So let's dive into number one, Cape Perpetua Lookout. The trailhead for this short 2.7 mile hike is at the Cape Perpetua Visitor Center, 30 minutes north of Florence. The trail travels up a forested headland that's sometimes full of golden mist on a sunny day before breaking out of the trees and onto an open bluff that looks out on the most spectacular sunsets. Aim to go at sunset on a sunny day. For more on the Cape Perpetua Lookout hike, check out our video link in the upper right corner. Number two, the sea lion caves are only about 15 minutes north of Florence. There's a somewhat corny looking entrance right off Highway 101, but it's definitely worth a stop. After buying tickets in the visitor center, you'll head down a path to an elevator that leads into a cave that overlooks the sea lion cave. It's an otherworldly and immersive experience being down in the cave with hundreds of sea lions. Make sure to go in winter as the sea lions otherwise likely won't be in their cave. 
For more tips on visiting the sea lion caves, click the link in the upper right corner for our sea lion caves video. Number three, the Dean Creek Elk Viewing Area is on the other side of Florence, about 30 minutes south. It's a free roadside stop along the scenic Highway 38. The habitat is ideal for Roosevelt elk, the largest elk species in North America and the kind that's native to the Northwest. You'll find interpretive information and are highly likely to see elk here any time of year. Click the link in the upper right for our full video on the Teen Creek Elk Viewing Area. Number four, the Gwyn Creek Hike begins at the Cape Perpetua Visitor Center, the same place the Cape Perpetua Lookout Hike begins. A 6.4 mile hike, the Cook's Ridge to Gwyn Creek Loop, travels through an old growth forest that seems straight out of a fairy tale. On a sunny day, the coastal mist catches the sunlight and it looks like the forest is glowing. And to close out our top five, Thor's Well and the Spouting Horn are likewise about 30 minutes from Florence, just down the road from the Cape Perpetua Visitor Center where the two hikes start. These two natural coastal rock formations form what I can best describe as natural fountains. The spouting horn looks like a geyser, but it's actually not an active geothermal feature. The ocean waves are just pushing up through a hole in the old lava rock. The spouting horn and Thor's well are visible after a very short walk from a Highway 101 turnout. Thor's well is likewise a hole in the lava rock, but in this case, the wave action makes it resemble a giant sinkhole, like the ocean itself is draining through it. From my perspective, the coastal rock formations are what make the Oregon coast so bizarre and beautiful, and this is a great place to see two of these unique formations in action. Thanks for joining us for the top five outdoor things to do near Florence, Oregon. Remember to give this a thumbs up, and subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time.